Hey, welcome to Ask a Pastor. Today's question is, what do you believe about spiritual gifts, and do you believe God can give spiritual gifts to believers today? The Bible does talk about spiritual gifts. I do believe in spiritual gifts, and I believe God gives spiritual gifts to people even now. In the New Testament, it talks about God giving people spiritual gifts for the sake of the church, for the common good of each other. And I think that's how God still works. Uh, And what Scripture is really clear about is that it's God who gives the gifts. So no, there's no one gift that's better than another. It says the foot can't say because I'm not a hand, I don't belong to the body. All of the parts, all of the gifts that we have that make up the beautiful tapestry of the church and of the human race, they're all important. They're all irreplaceable parts of who we are as a community, as a society, as the church. But spiritual gifting doesn't work like a caste system. Like once you figure out your spiritual gift, you know your place and that's where you have to stay. I think we can develop different gifts. We can learn new things. We can grow. And the point of the passages in Scripture that talk about spiritual gifts is not to say like, well, once you know yours, you're you're locked in and that's now you have one job and that's it. I think the point of those passages is to say, look, our diversity makes us better. All the different gifts that we bring to the table is what make us who we are. We are our relationships and our gifts. And so if you see that someone else has a weakness that you don't have or a strength that you don't have, well, the point is for you to work with them, (laughs) to be together in this. And so I think the point is for us to learn where we find joy in contributing, where we find our place in working together. And in a society that is overwhelmingly individualistic, where we tend to worry uh, and are told to worry about ourselves as individuals rather than the people around us as a community, I think it's an important message that we need. Now, there are gifts that are talked about in the New Testament that uh, may or may not be familiar to us. For example, the gift of prophecy is talked about. Well, I I don't really know exactly what that is. Uh, And there are traditions in the church that take that concept really seriously, and some see it as uh, kind of a a telling of the future, and other people see it as uh, speaking truth to power, as, as the work of social justice. There are all kinds of different interpretations about what prophecy means, and that just means that we have different takes on what these gifts are to be called and how they work. And there will be some that that think that the gift of prophecy is is kind of an ancient relic of a bygone era, and that God doesn't give that gift anymore uh, or something. Now, however you take it to be within your tradition, within your cultural, social location, the point is to receive from God the work of God. The point of the gifts is to recognize that what we do as members of the body of Christ, as members of the church, as participants in God's ministry, is second to God's action. It's God who does the giving. It's God who does the work. And it's the same Holy Spirit that gives every gift. So your gift uh, does not, it's not magic. It doesn't make you uh, superior. Uh, If you have a gift that somebody else doesn't have, there's, there's nothing wrong or better about you. It just means that it's different. Not all difference has to be better or worse. It can just be different. And so we all have gifts. We all need to recognize them. And it's important. So even though historically there's been a lot of kind of infighting in the church about spiritual gifts, about how we see them, I really wish that that wasn't the case. I wish we wouldn't fight about that because the whole point is that our spiritual gifting should draw us together, not separate us, should make us better, not worse, should help us to be that force for good that God has called the church to be. Look for what you're good at and look for what gives you joy and look for where your joy and your passion intersects with what the people around you need. That, I think, is how we understand 
calling. That, I think, is how we understand our gifting. And that is, I think, how God gives gifts even now. Mm -hmm.